Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Ninth Cup, where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose. I'm diving into the You Plus Who readings, and this will be for the sign of Taurus. So all placements in Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Seventh House, you could also be the cross watcher for Taurus. These are going to be romantic readings, however, depending on what source decides to come through with. It could be for more platonic relationship, like family relationships, friendships, and maybe even business partnerships. So I'm gonna start with the Romance Angels deck. I'm gonna get three cards for you, three cards for your person. Clarification with Tarot, and then we'll wrap up with a few Oracle cards. So let's see what's going on for your person, Taurus. What's going on with the person, the Taurus? Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay. So this person could maybe like really be into you, wanting to move things forward, but you know, they need to really let go with the flow. You know, they could be like thinking too deeply about it. Just thinking too hard about it, but we'll see what else comes out. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah. So they could just be like, you know, having high expectations, but not, you know, being in a flow state, like wanting things to be a certain way. And that's pretty normal, you know, in my opinion. I think that's normal for someone that, you know, really wants to have a relationship and, you know, is really into you, Taurus. Third card is it's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive to the highest energy of all. Yeah, it's safe for you to love. So they could be like in their head space and not really in their heart space. And they're just thinking kind of strategically versus from like, you know, from a place of compassion and love. You have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So maybe I'm getting that this could be a situation where like this person is just kind of eyeing you. Um, this isn't maybe a full blown relationship yet. Um, you could have already like seen each other some way, somehow, but like there hasn't been an approach. Next card is finances and career. Financial issues are a favor in your, I'm sorry, are a factor in your love life right now. So this person, um, this is actually, this is giving me um, the energies of like work or um, you all are seeing each other where one of you work. Like let's say if it's like a gym, like you're seeing this person work at the gym or there's, excuse me, seeing you work at the gym um, or just any other place that you, you know, maybe one of you work in the public they've seen you there and maybe that's why they haven't um <clears throat> excuse me you guys they haven't made the move right they um are just maybe overthinking it or that they like they haven't approached or you haven't approached them sometimes these energies are reversed or you guys are mirroring each other um but i'm getting that spirit is saying that like this should just kind of go with the flow like if it's you like hesitating to reach out to this person just like casually reach out to them um, and express like your love not love like literally but you know express like your interest like make casual talk um, and put them in a an energy of where they can like trust you and they can let go of the control because there will be chemistry you have chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so you really like this person I think this person really likes you but I'm getting that there is some kind of hesitation going on um, just between the two of you. Let's see what Tarot has to say. So I'm going to move your energies to the side, Taurus, and I'm going to get some clarifiers with Tarot for your person first, and then we'll do you. So I'm using the um, Muse Tarot deck to get these clarifiers. So I'm just going to get one for each Romance Angel card. Oh, we have Strength. So your person um, could be a Leo. This is a card of Leo, Strength card. Um, the thing about Leo, though, is that it typically is a very passionate sign, um, passionate energy. Um, I'm getting that source wants them to have this energy. They need to get into that space of having the strength to let go of the control issues and to really, you know, move from their heart space versus their head space. The Fool, another major arcana. This is uh, Aquarius and Aries energy. So it's Aries, I'm sorry, Uranus in Aries. <laughs> That's the energies of the Fool card unshakable faith being able to move forward without knowing your next step trusting the process the fool's coming out right underneath the trust card and i think that's beautiful energy um again i think this is just guidance coming through from spirit saying like it's okay to move forward it's okay to move towards this person um you don't have to have all of your ducks in a row you can really just let your hair down be yourself because that's really what makes this person attractive is when they are just being themselves 
you know, when they aren't kind of wearing the a title or, you know, a persona or anything like that. But they this person may feel like they have to do that. Um, well, let's get a clarification for it. See for you to love. Six of inspiration. Well, this is six of wands. So I definitely think that they are going to be successful in this pursuit, in this relationship. Um, you know, six of wands is a card of victory. It's fire energy. Wands is also about passion and taking action. So I think that when they move in, you know, they are going to be feeling safe. They're going to feel like, you know, it is okay for me to just be myself. Uh, maybe they have been rejected in the past. And that could be like some fears that are creeping in for this person, Taurus. Now let's get clarifications for you. Express your love. What do we need to know about express your love? Let's Taurus know. We have Knight of Emotions. This is Knight of Cups. Yeah, so this is you coming in with your cup of love, your cup of emotions. So whoever reaches out first, whoever makes the first move, I think it's just important to really be in that space of like true authenticity. You know, not kind of like thinking of everything you're going to say, just really having that casual free-flowing conversation where it's like both of you are just like vibing with each other and you know with this knight of cups coming in i'm getting that this may be you making the first move or you um you know kind of just like you know how sometimes where if you're out in public like someone could say something to you but it's not necessarily like they're coming up to you to kind of initiate conversation like it could just be something like really mundane and casual like oh it's such a beautiful day out here oh my god i I love those shoes or something like that that's not necessarily like too direct if you know what i mean but it's still like engaging in some kind of dialogue that's what i'm just getting with this night of um, emotions energy expressing i mean clarifying the express your love that it needs to be more like just casual right and it could be you or them again these energies could be reversed this is a general reading so apply the energies as they relate to you so for Taurus, finance and career. And you, Taurus, Taurus energy is really all about their money. You know, you guys rule the second house with Venus. So I definitely think that, you know, either you or this person don't want to get distracted from their career. We have three of wands, three of inspiration here, clarifying this finances and career. So um, one of you, or maybe both of you, could be in a position where you're up leveling in your business or in your career. And maybe that's why some of their some of you are having some hesitations for starting something new or approaching this person, approaching a new relationship in general, because with this three of wands, that's kind of like waiting for your ships to come in after a lot of hard work. So I'm getting that like, you know, you are focused in a really passionate endeavor. Um, it could just be like your job, but you know, for some of you, it could be a career, it could be a hobby, something you're, you have done a lot of work on, like learning something new. Um, it could be a lot of different things actually, but it's like, that, that whatever that thing is it's tied to your finances in your career and you just don't want there to be any type of disruption in that area of your life because of a new relationship a new romantic pursuit yeah so this is, could be what's holding both of you or one of you back clarifying chemistry we have the high priestess beautiful energy she's the keeper of secrets she knows everything um so intuitively taurus i feel like you know what's best for you um i think you know what pace to take this you know um how to really um, present your best self, you know? With this night of emotions, I get that it's like you're showing up to this person. Um, and this person needs to be made to feel like they could trust, they could let go. If this is you, same thing. This person's gonna show up to you, making you feel safe, making you feel like, you know, you can have both. You can have both a healthy career. You can open up to someone. You can allow someone else in to your life and there won't be any disruption. It'll actually kind of make things more fruitful and prosperous for you. So I'm going to get three cards from my astrology deck, the eighth house tarot, to just get a little bit more energies for the two of you kind of together as a union. These energies were like as you, for you as individuals. We have queen of water. This is queen of cups. So that's definitely somebody who is, is masterful of their emotions. I'm getting that this is you, Taurus, for some reason. I'm getting that this is the energy of Taurus. That you are emotionally intelligent. You know how to control your emotions. You know how not to, you know, get in too deep too soon. Um, and this person maybe is, like, afraid that they will not be able to balance that. You know, this person needs to be in the Queen of Cups energy. And then we have Ace of Earth. This is Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is uh, definitely, and this is Taro Virgo's Capricorn energy. This is your energy. 
again, I think that that is definitely a really big part of your life now, whatever this um, endeavor is with your career, with your finances, it's something new because you have an ace. Aces are new beginnings in the tarot. So again, I, that might be just a little bit of hesitation or tiptoeing around relationships because you know, you, maybe you guys could be busy. You guys could have really busy schedules, not really knowing when you'll be free to even spend time with this person. You know, you're kind of thinking of like all of the different um, potential hardships that could come about if you did embark on a new relationship. But I'm getting that source of saying it's okay. You just need to really be mindful of like your capacity, your boundaries, and then, you know, the pace, like how fast you go. Yeah, look, the sun card flipped. The sun card is the happiest card in the deck. Total wish fulfillment, bliss, happiness, success. Um, I think that this is just source coming through saying that you can have it all. You can finally get out of the devil energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have the devil. This is constrictions, limitations, fears, um, just being kind of stuck in a rut. So this other person could be in the devil energy. And um, they see you kind of shining bright here. Um, and they want to move in. Or vice versa, Taurus. It could be you still feeling stuck and you know this person wants to you want to move in towards this person you know however it is um you know i feel as though whatever you it's like this person that you're seeing or this person that's watching you i do feel like there's potential here i feel like source is here to say like there's potential with this person there's potential really with any person i think you just need to really let go of the trust issues and and try, i'm sorry let go of the control issues and have trust um, and maybe there are trust issues, you know, sometimes when um, us tarot readers, when we fumble and say something that we don't see, it's what you need to hear. So I said, let go of trust issues. It could be that you do have trust issues and that's that's buying into or feeding into the hesitation, you know, maybe clinging too tightly to your career and your money because you just don't trust that a person will uh, be good to you or maybe they'll take advantage of you. They'll take money from you. Um, you know, they'll just kind of dis distract you you know, cause disruption in your life. But I'm getting this spread here. This, these energies tell me actually the contrary. So let's wrap up with a few oracles from the Keepers of the Light Tarot. Let's see what Source wants to tell you. Some more inspiration. Mercury, open communication. Get a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. Yeah. So definitely this person's gonna reach out or you're gonna reach out to this person. You have the communication card, Mercury. Um, this person could be a Virgo or Gemini, since Mercury, uh, Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini. Next card is hope. Love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. Yeah, choose loving thoughts, Taurus. Don't think that someone is just going to do the same thing that happened in the past. You know, new beginnings here. Now we have higher learning. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. So this is maybe why you need to like be really mindful of your pace because this person is going to reveal themselves to you and you're going to reveal yourself to this person. So whatever needs to be discerned, you'll have the, the insight needed to make a decision, you know? All right. So this is what I have for you, Taurus. I have beautiful energies for you. Um, but there is some person in your vicinity. You either know this person or you've seen this person. This person has seen you and, um, they, you know, they will be reaching out soon. Or I think you're finally going to decide to make the move to reach out to them. And beautiful things will unfold, you know, so long as you just remain true to yourself and in your power, in your authenticity. Okay, Taurus, I love you so much. Um, if this reading resonates with you, please go ahead and like, leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. If this is your kind of thing, subscribe to the channel. Look at the links below. I do personal readings and soul purpose readings with your natal chart. The prices you see on those landing pages are gonna be in effect until the end of the year. After that, um, those prices will just be for recordings and then it will be a slightly higher investment for live readings, okay? So that is just a small announcement and I'll keep saying it, so no worries. Um, I hope to see you in the next reading, Taurus. I love you so much and be sure to thrive. Bye.